The top flight in Scotland's had a lot of great goal scorers, but here are the top 10 goal scorers since the 1999-2000 season. So obviously, we're kicking off with number 10, and it is Adam Rooney. And you may be thinking, how the hell is Adam Rooney on a top 10 list? Well, because this is since the beginning of the 99 season, you've got to factor in there's a lot of people who won't be on this list due to that. Oh, and... Also factor in, there's people on this list who featured before this, uh, like they started their career, uh, whoever it is, before 99, therefore they're having a be decent amount of goals chopped off. But, you know, it's since the, the, the century begun, even though we did have like a half a season in 99. But, you know, for the sake of the furial gas, it's since the 99-2000 season. And uh, Adam Rooney comes in at 10th place with 219 games. And he got a whopping 85 goals. Not exactly spectacular, if we're being honest. But you know what? He gets 10th place, of course. The Aberdeen man, he did go on. He did job the to go to Salford City. I have no idea how his career has actually panned out since then, but it is what it is. Next place, we've got Kenny Miller in P9. 225 games and 87 goals. Of course, stints at Hibs, Rangers... Celtic, is there, a, is there a team Kenny Miller didn't play for? Of course, if he didn't go to England, play for the likes of Derby, and then like his big move to, I'll say his big move to the MLS, he moved to the MLS, guys, right, let's just leave it at that. He could have played a lot more games, um, but, you know, his goal return, he's got two more goals than Rooney, but he played six more games, so if you look at it like that, not exactly spectacular, um, I mean, it's a decent return. You know, it, it, it's a good return, if you, like, if you factor in assists as well, I mean, you're probably averaging like, a goal and assist of one in every two games. Um, or maybe I'm bigging up Kenny Miller's assists too much, but there's just far better people on this list and also far better people on this list that has actually got uh, like a way better goal-to-game ratio. And that begins with number eight. We've got John Hartson, 146 games and 89 goals. That is a very, very, very toasty um, start. He basically gets a goal every one and a half games. Can't complain with that. If you're a Celtic fan, that's a pretty good return, if you ask me. And of course, uh, I mean, I, I, I feel like I don't know. Maybe this is just my personal opinion, but I feel like Hartson and Sutton would be held in a way higher regard if Henrik Larson wasn't a bit in the same team. Now, obviously, Larson elevated Celtic by quite a margin. Obviously, he's one of the, the greatest of all time that's ever played in this league. I mean, a lot, I mean, say a lot of people are going to think that he is. And for me, he is, he's in the debate. He's right at the top if, if he's not number one. Um, but, yeah, I, mean, I'm, I have no reason to stick up for Sutton. I, I really do not like Chris Sutton. Um, I actually don't mind Hartson. I don't. I don't think he's that bad of a person. I don't think he's that bitter. But with Chris Sutton, you can bet your top rocker guys that this guy is very bitter. But you know what? A good return for John Hartson. But guess what, guys? Spoiler Chris Sutton isn't on this fucking list, so get it right, ruin him. Up next, we've got Derek Rorden. And uh, some people may not even know who this guy is, but you know what? I know who this guy is. And uh, yeah, 95 goals in 249 appearances. Not too bad. Start his career off at Hibs. I'll give you a quick wee lowdown. Started his career off at Hibs, went to Celtic, just did not work out, returned to Hibs. And then uh, after Hibs, he had a few shitey teams after that as well. And uh, yeah, but you know what? He played a lot more games than everyone else, but he got he, he's pretty much got a similar return to like Kenny Miller and Adam Rooney, which doesn't set him, but it's more like longevity. But when I say longevity, like 249 games in a lot, I mean, he played like what? I mean, he was mostly Celtic and Hibs. He played probably about, what, 12 years in the top flight? Is 95 goals across 12 years really that good? I don't think it is, personally, so that's my thoughts on it. But up next, we've got Sutton. But it's not quite Chris Sutton. It's John. It's John Sutton. And uh, we're a whopping 306 games John Sutton only managed to muster 96 goals. That's not even that good at a return, in my opinion. Uh, but the Motherwell man got that. And 
Is that good? Is that really exactly toasty? I wouldn't put my top. I don't think it's that good, personally. I, I do feel like it was not that. Um, you know, don't think it's that good, brother. But of course, he played for Hearts as well, so don't want to bury the guy too much. Like, but you know, he didn't. He actually didn't retire that long ago. I believe he was still playing a few years ago. Scottish Championship, if I recall. I'm not hundred percent sure, but. It's an alright return, nothing uh, mental. Coming in next though, in fifth place, we're at the halfway, we're halfway there, and we finally managed to break the 100 goal club with this one. It's Anthony Stokes uh, with 102 goals in 213 games. Now that's a good return, that's like one in every two, a proper one in every two. Uh, and yeah, Anthony Stokes, pretty good return there. Not as good as Hartson's, but again, guy played at Hibs, guy played at Celtic, he was alright, and uh, yeah, enough, nothing really else spectacular to say about Big Anthony. But up next, it's the King of Kings. No, it's no Triple H. It is indeed, in fact, Henrik Larsson. And, and listen to this, so bear in mind, guys, 99 season is where this begins. 127 goals in 114... No, 127 games in 114 goals. Absolutely insane record. Um, you know, that is pretty much a goal every game, which doesn't surprise me. I feel like if someone of Larson's caliber it has to be around that region. If you look at if you look at John Hartson though, I mean he, he's not exact he played nineteen more games than Larson and he scored what twenty five less goals. But it's not exactly horrendous if you honestly compare the two, but Henrik Larson, what a player. I'm surprised he's not higher up on this list. I'm surprised he's not second. I thought he would be second place. But again, if he, if, he, if he just played more games and also we're not factoring in his entire stint at Celtic, so I guess that is a difference maker. But yeah, absolutely phenomenal. Coming in in third place, Old MacDonald had a farm, but indeed he had Scotty too hotty. And it was 281 games for this guy. And a whopping 116 goals. For big Scott McDonald, damn it. Most notably of those goals, though, it was uh, when he shafted Celtic at the league with those two late goals, and he gave a gift at Rangers the league on a silver platter, which made it even better, guys, for all the Celtic fans that have just started supporting their club during nine in a row. Uh, he joined them, which was fantastic. So he, 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 not only did he fucking pump them, he joined them. And how awkward must that have felt in the dressing room? Really? It must have, like, it really must have. But, again, when you're at a club, you're there to do a job. I know in Scotland some teams lie down, but at the end of the day, Scott McDonald didn't job it. He didn't lie down, and he did the job. Up next in second place, he loves DMing 15-year-olds. He loves Dan mad shit. It's Lee Griffiths. And, yeah, 254 games, 122 Goals, um, it's a decent return, but the best of Lee Griffiths was about 10 years ago, six years ago. Honestly, the guy's just no been that good for a number of years now. Honestly, like it, I feel like it peaked ages ago, and I feel like ever since he scored those two free kicks for Scotland, it's been going absolutely nose diving off a cliff for Lee Griffiths. In more ways than one. Up next though, the true king of kings, the all-time Scottish Premiership leading scorer. We are whopping 221 goals, a full 99. More than uh, Lee Griffiths, but he does have 449 games. So if you do the math, Chris Boyd, you know that good. <laughs> nah, I'm only joking. Chris Boyd, you know what? He was a goal scorer. Was he the greatest player? No. Was Larson the bet? Obviously, I mean, most people on this list were more technically gifted than Chris Boyd. But what did he do? He put the fucking ball in the back of the net. So you can't complain about it, really. Um, but if lots, let's just say Larson, for argument's sake, played 449 games. I mean, I'd, I'd say Larson would probably at least have 300, if not 350. But... Anyway, Chris Boyd's top, which means he's the best. He's clearly the best player of all time in the world. Fuck Ronaldo and Messi. I'm not even going to consider Pele because the Scottish Premiership's a higher level than the fucking Brazilian League. So anyway, guys, until next time, peace.
Hit the big red button on the, the big blue and for the like and uh, aye, more content coming soon. Transfer windows, Scottish Cup final and all that good stuff. But until then, peace.